Mark 5 and 36. As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai. All praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai be the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. As the true names in the Lachman Kadash, the ancient Hebrew, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And uh, I think I'm going to tire this one. If you're of the elect, you have nothing to worry about. All right, if you're of the elect, the hopeful elect, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Because it's written and it's promised <clears throat> that the Lord will be with his elect in these last days, okay? If you uh taking heed to the word of the Lord and you're walking sincerely in the fear of your Yahweh Shemal Shai in faith, hey, man, you know, um... Humbly speaking, you know, Lord's will, we're of that number. That's our hope. You know, we could, you could very well be of that number, okay? And uh, like I said, that's our hope and that's our faith, man. All right? That we'll be delivered when Yahweh Shai returns. That we'll be protected in these uh, these last days, man. Okay? So just like Yahweh Shai said, don't be afraid. Only believe, man. Now is the time to... To believe uh, more than ever, okay. <clears throat> but we definitely know we're in that time. This is uh, Second Thessalonians, I mean Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, okay. And we're in those last days, man. And we're at the door of those perilous times, okay. Esau's clipping channels. Oh, yeah. By the way, you know this is uh, this will be on my new channel. Uh, GMS Pure Influence Okay, because Esau gave me a strike And I'm not able to upload uh, For a week, you know On my regular channel But it's alright, alright Because it just further proves that we have the truth You know, why are you worried about us You know, why are you watching Our content and deleting our videos If it's not the truth Okay So the scripture says 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3 and 1 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, right? And we're at the door of those perilous times, okay? Esau has been uh, preparing, okay, for a sore slaughter. But Yahweh by Shemal Shai is going to protect us in that day, man, okay? He told us not to fear. He said, fear thou not, uh, thou worm Jacob, all right? The Lord knows that we're defenseless, okay? The Lord knows that our trust is in him that our faith is in him so he's going to he's going to step in there and defend his elect you know going back to the title if you're of the elect you have nothing to worry about all right because salvation is your next stop this is uh Jeremiah 30 and 7 alas for that day is great all right so that none is like it right nothing in in the past history can compare to this uh unprecedented time all right this is this is unprecedented it says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? This is the last time the Lord's going to uh, show his wrath or pour out his wrath upon his people, man. All right? Because after this, you know, the scriptures say uh, uh, all of our people shall be righteous, man. All right? That anger is going to cease. But, you know, if you take a look at our people, man, major majority of our people is caught up in to that left hand, to that wickedness, man. So the Most High is uh, angry with that. He doesn't want to convert them. And he doesn't want them to be healed because he wants them to feel that wrath and be judged, okay? Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. And the he is talking about the elect, okay? <clears throat> the souls that Yahweh Shema Shai has separated and cleaned up with his word, man. Okay, those are the ones he's going to deliver out of this out of this uh, unprecedented time, all right, this perilous time. Um, Revelation three and ten says the Lord will uh, he will keep us in the hour of temptation. Okay, and we see that we see that approaching fastly. This is uh, the NLT version. It says in all history there was never been 
There has never been such a time of terror, you see? The Lord has equipped this devil, Esau Edom, so-called white man, with all type of technology, man. Okay? Technology that hasn't been seen yet. Okay? So he's going to go all out. He's going to go all out to the point where he's going to even fight against the Lord, man, when he returns. Call himself fighting against the Lord. All right? It says, it will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel, yet in the end, they will be saved. Right? The Israel, the Most High, will be saved. Okay? But the point being is that he shall be saved out of it. All right? And that has to be your mindset, man. Okay? But we've seen in the past with our great forefathers, man, um, you know, the Lord always matches that intensity, man. Okay? He always comes with a great deliverance. All right? He always uh, comes with a miracle. All right? And the miracle is just the working of the Most High. You know? This is uh, Psalms 22 and 4. Hey, the scripture says the things written aforetime time were written for our learning. And we read about this. We read about the the, 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 the accounts of the men of the Lord being uh, miraculously delivered, man. And that boosts our faith. That boosts our trust. Okay? We know that nothing is impossible with the Most High. This is uh, Psalms 22 and 4. It says, Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted and thou deliver this delivered them. All right? Our fathers trusted in the Lord. And did the Lord forsake them? Did did uh, did not the Lord come through? So we're hoping that the Lord is going to come through for us. All right? Hey, but the Lord going to come through for somebody. You know, the elect is on this earth right now, man. Okay? <clears throat> it says our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee. All right? We're going to cry unto you. How about you? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. That's why it's important to know and to believe and trust in the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, in the name of His beloved Son. Okay? It says, They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded, man. All right? So the ones that trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, are not going to be confounded in these last days. All right? The Lord's going to come through. Psalms 127 and 3. Or, uh,. 125 and 3 I'm sorry Psalms 125 and 3 For the rod of the wicked Shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous You see All this judgment that the Lord is about to bring Is not for us You know It's not for the hopeful elect But it's for the wicked man The ones that Fan their hand at the, at the, at the word of the Lord The ones that despise the word of the Lord The ones that laugh At the word of the Lord The Lord got something for them The ones that trust in this society That want this system to continue it says, for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. And that's when um, that judgment will hit you. If you uh, put down the plow, man, and you go back into, in, in, into the world, you know, that's one of the things that make the Lord angry. For a man to go from righteousness to sin. The scriptures say that the, the sword is prepared for those men. Okay? So we're, we, well, we believe in the saving of the soul, right? We want, we want to uh, hold fast to the profession of our faith. So it says, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. The point being that that rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, man. Okay? If you're of the elect, <clears throat> you have nothing to worry about. The thing is, we don't know. All right? We're moving on faith. And that's one thing that's very pleasing to you. How about Shema Shai is having faith. But you all, you know, you always gotta consider and thank Yahweh by Shema Shai for for placing us here, you know, and whatever uh, time He did it, you know, giving us His truth, giving us His knowledge, His understanding, you know, and this stability, man, in these times, because these people's minds they're very perplexed. They don't know what the fuck is going on, you know. To say it bluntly, this is uh, I'll end it off with this. This is First uh, Thessalonians five and nine. For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath. All right? The hopeful elect is not appointed to wrath. All right? We're being chastised and judged of the Lord right now, so we won't be judged with the world. For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So it's not for us. So it's not a time to be afraid. It's not a time to worry. You know, the Lord said to cast that, that burden is upon him. You know, it's really exciting, man. You know? <laughs> You know, watching the prophecies is really exciting, man. You know, Lord's Word, I'll be my next lesson. 
Uh, you know, I just want to go into that. But yeah, you know, uh, if you're of the elect, you have nothing to worry about. Continue uh, believing and trusting in your how about your mouth shy. Okay? Don't be afraid. Only believe. So with that, Lord's words edifying. I'm going to give all praise and glory to your Hawa, by Hashem, your Hawa Shai, by Hashem, your Till next time, Shalom.